Shalom, Kal Halayim, La, Alahayanawa, Abanawa, Yahawa, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Wa, Baha, Rechaha, Kodash, double honor to the elder apostles of the Great Millstone, citations to the Akim, pushing this gospel diligently throughout the four corners of the earth, risking the life of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai's sake, and edifying the elect lambs of the Lord. Adawan Ratiza, meaning Lord willing, to Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. So basically, the topic of this lesson is that. <coughs> This devil, Esau Edom, will not be able to fulfill his plans, okay? He's not going to be able to, you know, acquire and completely fulfill his new world order, his NWO, okay? That will not come to fruition, alright? And we are aware, alright? The servants, the prophets of the Lord, alright? Are aware of what this man wants for the future, alright? And what he's doing to get it started, alright? As it says in 2 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 11, all right, we are not ignorant to Satan's devices, okay? He's trying to bring about, you know, the fourth industrial revolution, which is changing the way people live and work, all right, by way of artificial intelligence, okay? Introducing robotics, all right, virtual reality, all right, and the internet of things, okay? You know, and, he's, and <clears throat> you know, his main component, all right, is to seal to try and put every individual on this planet or try to put a C hip, a micro C hip into every human being on this planet, which he will not do, man. Okay, that's gonna seal together his, his uh you know, his his plan, alright? By introducing the RFID micro C hip, alright, so he can track and trace everyone, okay? And all the information okay about those people, you know, who take it will be on will be on that see hip man okay digital id included all right all right so you'll be connected to the internet of things basically that's why we're saying we want our people do not take the karagma all right because this man is trying to merge man with machine all right <laughs> you know you saw that in the film franchise the terminator with arnold schwarzenegger all right you've got that film that recently came out called the creator all right you know starring denzel washington's son all right, John David Washington, okay, and that's centered around, you know, artificial intelligence and, and robots, okay. Even the film I Robot with Will Smith, all right, so he, he puts his agenda in his media, all right, and his TV shows and his films, okay. So ultimately, he tells on himself, man, as the scripture says, all right, you know, and he wants to reduce the human population to, at most, 500 million people, which is crazy because, you know, this man is his death, all right. <laughs> but he won't be able to do that, okay? He is anti life, anti life, alright? And according to E's statistics, the population on this planet is, you know, roughly over 8 billion people. B with a billion, alright? 8 billion people on this planet, roughly. Okay? <laughs> and guess what? Well, guess what? We're already eating defiled bread amongst the Gentiles, alright? Which he's making it worse. You know, GMO, genetically modified organisms. All right, BPA in the plastic bottles in the water. All right, all this plastic they're ingesting. Okay, <laughs> and stuff like that, man. This goes on. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter nineteen, verse twenty-one. There are many devices in a man's heart, meaning mind. Never, nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord that shall stand. Okay. So no matter how many devices this devil comes up with, man. Okay, the counsel of the Lord still stands. You can't overthrow the Lord's, nor his, nor his plan. Okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> you know you got, you know you got all these nutrients being destroyed in 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 foods, all right? Because of it being processed and things like that. You got man-made, lab-grown chicken, all right? Human meat, all right? <laughs> is is being developed in, in Europe, all right, to make steak and stuff like that. It's disgusting. All right. And this is what he's pushing forwards, you know, in this in in his society, man. This is the vibration he's pushing across the world. Alright. Psalm chapter twenty one <coughs> and the uh, Verse 11, for they intended evil against you, they imagined a mischievous device which they are not able to perform, okay, you know, 
these things will not fully play out because Yahweh Bashim Al Shai has other plans in store, man. And this devil, because of his pride, which, <laughs> you know, pride is a you know a hell of a thing, and that's what Yahweh Bashim Al Shai hates, okay? <laughs> right? And because of pride, he really believes he can surpass the Most High. And that's what pride does, it blinds your reality, okay? <laughs> you see? And before righteousness can rise, the Lord has to take this man out of out of power first because this kingdom isn't holy far from holy it's far from pure right it's profane and e is profane all manner of wickedness thrives thrives in his world man that's why the earth and its inhabitants are in the terrible condition you know that that it's in that they're in the reason i mentioned the so-called white man is because job 9 and 24 tells us that the earth is given into the hands of the wicked and e is ruling over everyone right now all right he covereth the faces of the judges all right which are the israelites thereof if not who and where is he all right so who else does these things who else whitewashed the image of our messiah and the angels and the prophets of the holy bible and even the lord the heavenly father himself all right who does all this okay <laughs> you know these international Banking elite families, small hatters, they control this world and, and run this society, controlling the media and diamond districts, owning everything, right? In 1948, it actually owned Pornhub, okay? <laughs> Yet they claim to be the world, uh, you know, the Lord's chosen people, right? They claim to be the Lord's chosen people. Give me a break, man, right? These devils dictate what we learn. In the education fool system which is really what it is right because they're not telling us that we are the the israelites of the bible in these so-called top religious colleges and universities all right these devils dictate you know the kinds of foods we eat they dictate what we what we see all right that's what they dictate to us what we hear and what we see what goes on in the mainstream news media man all right they are the basis of men as the scripture says in daniel all right and the Lord has given them time to rule in wickedness until that time comes to an end, which you are, which we are very much approaching. All right, We're very much approaching that. Let's get Psalm seventy-five and verse seven, and it reads, "But the heavenly Father Yahweh is the judge; he putteth down one and setteth up another." All right, so the Lord raises up kingdoms and puts them down. Okay. He rules in the kingdom of men, all right? So when Yahushai, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus, all right, returns to destroy this society, all right, he will also deliver his people, your so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native and Seminole Indians, West Indians and Haitians, and your Israelite foreigners, speckled birds, all right, who are the biblical, true biblical Hebrew Israelites, the Lord's chosen people, all right? But he'll only deliver the elect on this side, okay? Right, so when it comes to this shoddy society and put, you know, Esau Eden down, he will deliver the elect of his people, man. Alright. Because he's coming in power and great glory. Alright. He's putting down all rule and authority. All these nations will be put down for good. Alright, they're not gonna rise up again. Alright. Contrary to what Bishop Nate is teaching at IUIC. <laughs> about after a thousand years, you know, the, these nations are gonna <laughs> rise up and go to war with us again even though we'll have spiritual power how does that make sense okay we could tell he's we could tell he's, he's bought and paid for man which i believe he, he knows he's he's wrong in saying that he knows he's he's wrong all right he knows that's not the truth <laughs> but you know he won't want we don't want to you know teach that Teach the truth. Okay. So yeah, all these nations will be going into into slavery for a thousand years, man. Beginning with our main enemy E. Alright, but unlike the other nations, you know, unlike the other heathens, after a thousand years of hardcore slavery, E will be permanently exterminated. Okay.
verse Maccabees chapter 12 and verse 9 reads and it says therefore we also albeit we need none of these things that we have the holy books of scripture in our hands to comfort us okay and the destruction of Babylon America is within the Bible all right and we have a sure word of prophecy man okay we have a sure word of prophecy that these things are going to happen man and that's written in the book of Peter okay and that gives us you know a faith booster all right you know new bodies new rulership all right not being oppressed under these heathens anymore man okay not working these crappy jobs making our enemies rich okay you know <laughs> this is all bible prophecy set to play out right that's written within the holy scriptures all right so it must and will happen okay again we'll get psalms 21 and verse 11 <laughs> okay and it reads for they intended evil against thee they imagined a mischievous device which they are not able to perform and what's that mischievous device the rfid micro c hip man okay he wants to see hip everyone all right and notice how there's more and more articles coming about coming around all right constantly coming out about this all right and hey they're not going to be able to do do just that they're not going to be able to see hip everyone all right and the elect are going to be kept from that man okay revelation chapter 3 verse 10 words of yahweh shai because you have kept the word of my patience whereas patience means to suffer i will also keep you from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth okay so that's coming man all right that's why we're holding fast to this word all right and remaining spiritual more so than ever in this time okay because the spirit of the lord has to be with you all right not to tear that sea hip okay because temptation is going to come from all sides from family members all right your own wife children all right because you can't buy and sell unless you take the sea hip okay you know and the apostles of great milton on down constantly constantly warn our people not to take this constantly bring out information regarding this okay so do not take the rfid micro c hip which is the mark of the beast in revelation chapter 13 verse 16 okay so lord willing this lesson was edifying i'm going to end it there in closing kal halal yahweh bahasham yahweh shai double honors to the apostles of great millstone peace blessings and mercy to the bayat shah dawada which is the house of david beginning with the elect shalom